Open surgery is a surgery which is relatively uh, more skill dependent and now today we will be discussing about some tips and tricks to do an arthroscopic PCL surgery uh, nicely. The most important things is a use of posterior portals. So ideally I recommend the first thing is 2 pm portal. So you make one portal superiorly and one portal inferiorly so that way you can see also and work also so seeing and working both the things can be made do done simultaneously the second thing is placement of the trolley so most of the times what we do is we place the trolley on the opposite side of our working so for if you are doing a pcl it will be very helpful if you place the trolley on the same side of the surgery. So you have to place the trolley on the same side of your operating. So if you are operating on the right side, place the trolley on the right side itself. Number three, usually bubbles can be a big problem. So try to make femur first. Just like your uh, ACL, we are making femur first in anatomical technique. In PCL also try to make femur first. It will reduce the problems of bubbles and improve the visualization. So try to make femur first as compared to tibia first. Normally there is a tendency that we start making from the starting from the tibial pole side. So do femur first that will make your uh, job relatively easy. If you are doing inside out tunnel for the femur, take an accessory portal for femur. So that will be quite medial and down, uh, lateral and down and that through that you can reconstruct the AL portal. So you have to focus on the AL bundle. So reconstruct the AL bundle and this is around 5 to 7 millimeters from the articular cartilage. So this is very important. So focus on the femur first, drill the femur tunnel first. Then the PCL is right here. So if you see in this uh, uh, regimen, this is the PCL. So Above that will be an intermuscular septum. So make two windows W1 and W2. So this W1 is above the PCL and W2 is below the portal. So one window above the PCL, one window below the PCL. So this will help in going on the posterior portal and this will also aid in the visualization. So you have to make one window above the PCL, one window below the PCL. And then you can pass your graph either from W1, W2, I usually recommend W1. So, and then you have to go from your scope to the posterior portal, ideally through W1 or you can go through the W2 also. So make two windows, one on the, post, uh, one on the superior side of the PCL and one on the inferior part of the PCL. The viewing portal on the lateral side should be high. So high AL portal. So the viewing portal from on the lateral side should be higher as compared to your normal portal. So the women portal on the lateral side should be higher so that you can go on the posterior middle compartment. Now there is one more technique you can do is called as an interceptal approach that in which you can make posterior middle posterior lateral portal. That also you can do but uh, occasionally it is a little bit more tricky to do that but you can definitely do that as well. Uh, on the tibial side, you need to go way down. So if this is your tibia, you need to pay, place your jig at least here. So your entry point on the tibia should be at least 8 to 10 millimeters below the level of the cartilage to reduce the pillar. So whenever you put your jig, put your jig in a way that it, it goes as down as possible to reduce the pillar. Down. Now this is actually a risky part, so whenever you are drilling here, you need to be very very careful and I recommend that you see from the superior posterior middle portal while doing this step and keep a protector posteriorly. When you are inserting a bead pin, you, pro you protect it posteriorly and then over drill. So keeping a posterior po uh, portal and a protector for the bead pin is very very important. Now drilling of the tibia should be at least in 90 degree plus flexion. This is also very important because that will make your vessels fall posteriorly. 
so there are two techniques to make your vessels go posterior one increase the angle to 90 degrees and then you need to clear the intermuscular septum so septum you clear if you clear the septum on this side the vessel will again fall posteriorly so clearing of the septum posteriorly and flexing of the knee beyond 90 degrees will help in reducing the chances of neurovascular deficit another trick is to make your drill more medial or from the lateral side because the uh, vessel is actually on slight uh, uh, lateral side so when you are drilling through the medial side it will go into the vessel if you are more central or if you are doing through the lateral it is more protective so if this is your tibial entry and this is the tibia and you are drilling like this there will be highest risk if you are drilling like this or through this the risk of drilling through the uh, vessel will be reduced so mind the tunica time because uh, this is maybe a long surgery initially and the tunica time should not exceed one and a half hours maximum so that is also one very important step visualization things we will do from the post, uh, superior posterior middle superior portal and working portal will be inferior posterior middle portal and once we are there the other thing will be difficult in passing because there is a pillar turn and to negotiate this turn if the graft is tight so you may error on a little bit of more wide turn so if your graft is 8 you can make 8.5 tunnel if your graft is 8.5 make a 9 tunnel so little 0.5 millimeter over the uh, reaming is better and then important thing that you can do is rasping so if the, uh, the uh, there is a difficulty negotiating this killer turn you can use your rasp to make this level smooth so you can rasp the edge to make the passage smooth so these are the things and when you are tying the graft after passing it pass it in uh, tied in full anterior drop so these are the things that you can do to make a seamless pcl arthroscopic reconstruction surgery any questions